show of hands, who is ready to deep clean and declutter their whole home before the holidays? Because that is how I'm feeling. So I'm starting Declutter December over here and I'm going through every space in this house before the holidays, and simplifying it, getting rid of everything that we are not using and doing a deep clean. Today is a Monday. We're gonna just see how much we can get done while the girls are at school. Here's a little peek of what we've got to tackle. I've got some groceries to put away. But first, I did a little bit of filming here on Sunday of this shoe area that has been very overwhelming. Okay, so after much searching and measuring, I picked up these three tubs from Target because these are pretty short right now. They only go maybe halfway. These go all the way to the back, they're the right height. Unfortunately, they're not very pretty. So I'm gonna try this out and then see if I can make the front of these look a little bit better. Unredid the bench, we can get a lot more in here. But I'm also gonna go through and declutter the shoes that are currently in here. And then maybe we'll lose less shoes, huh, Britt? We'll have them both? Have both feet? No, no we don't think so. I've been frustrated just long enough with the shoe situation that I was finally ready to do something about it. And really, I think this is what kicked off my whole decluttering of the house. Like I said, this was on Sunday night and I had stayed up trying to figure out a cute basket that would fit in this space because when we redid this little sliding door closet into the bench and mud zone, we only had four feet in the house. Now we had eight feet. We only had four pairs of feet in the house. Now we've got the five. Naturally, the bigger that she gets, the bigger her feet get and there are more shoes down here than there were before. So I'm gonna go through all these shoes as you can see, and we're gonna switch to the unesthetically pleasing tubs because that's what's gonna function for us right now. This little shoe area is the big domino that knocked down all the rest for me and led me to decide to declutter the entire house because I ended up with these baskets that I wanted to keep and I knew I had a spot for in the house, but they were kind of just chilling in the laundry room after I pulled them out of here, which led me to feeling stressed out in the laundry room and needing to clean that up and then wanting to go through the laundry closet because I'd never organized that. And as you know, if you give a mouse a cookie, I went through and I started a series over on Instagram and TikTok where I have been every weekday picking a spot in our house and decluttering it and also sharing a little bit of just mom life and cleaning in general. But here you can catch more of that process and hopefully I can answer any questions down in the comments. I am taking the floor vac, the wet dry vac, and mopping up this area. This is a spot that has to get done every day because it's where all the feet come in and the leaves and the dirt, all the randomness. But doing this on Sunday night led me to wake up with just a full motivated self on Monday morning. All right guys, today is Monday and I thought I'd take you along with me while we do some everyday Monday things. Just got the groceries dropped off, the girls off to school, so we're gonna get this put away. And then I've got a lot of decluttering upstairs and around the house that I wanna do every December before Christmas. I feel like I need to purge the whole house. Join me in decluttering before Christmas. Lots of liquids today. The nice thing about Indiana in the winter is that it's freezing cold. So if the groceries get dropped off at eight, I can leave them till 8.30 and not even get them off the porch and they're basically in the freezer.
Grocery delivery is a game changer lifesaver, but honestly, so is just the pickup options at the store. I have a couple items that I listed on Facebook Marketplace and someone messaged me to come pick that up off the porch. So I'm setting that out and then I'm gonna finish up with the groceries. Here, I'm washing off some of the fruit and soaking that with some vinegar for a little while, usually five to 10 minutes before I box it up in these airtight containers, which are my absolute favorite. And then those will last in the fridge for, I don't, we eat our fruit so fast that it's hard to tell, but I've had some of that fruit in there for like 10 days before and it's fine. Quick kitchen, tidy and clean up, put the boxes out in the garage for um, recycling. And then I'm gonna move upstairs to start decluttering. decisions decisions that's really the reason that it's so hard to start decluttering a space because it's so mentally exhaust exhausting to look at all of the items and have to make a decision about everything so a lot of times i will sort things into um piles to start off with i'll do you know goes in another room stays in this room trash and donate um, these are just small little spaces here, so you can move pretty quickly through them, but I like to be really ruthless with my decisions. If we have not used it, it's been sitting there for a little while, it's going. I think one of the hardest hurdles to get over is the guilt of saying goodbye to something, and it's really actually the guilt of having bought it or brought it into your home in the first place. I think like overcoming that guilt is so important because it is going to cause you more stress and anxiety to keep that in your space than you feel guilty about getting rid of something, is what I've learned. going to go declutter the upstairs playroom or the loft up here then I just saw the girls bathroom and I think this needs it a little bit more so we're gonna take this on this room calls for some reinforcements the Uggs are coming off
I sat down for a minute because I had to answer some emails and I feel like I lost a lot of my motivation, which is why I usually don't stop moving. A couple things to put downstairs. This hallway, everything upstairs desperately needs to be vacuumed. Across the hall is the room that really needs the most work. For the past little while, every clothing item that I need to go through for the girls to determine if I'm saving it for the baby, some of the baby stuff that needs to go, I've just dropped in here in the guest space. Also, a lot of other items that I just don't have, the, didn't have the time to deal with. So, this room is the next big cleanup project. And then I want to go through the closet and reorganize that as well but I'm not quite ready to be in here yet, so I'm gonna do a couple other things first. Equally almost as messy is this upstairs loft room. I would say though a lot of that is Britain, and uh, she's not the best at cleaning up her messes, so we're gonna give her some help. She's more of a dump and run when it comes to things. So this should be a pretty quick cleanup. I think that I was cleaning, restocking, doing all of this. I think it was probably about two and a half to three hours long. What makes things move really quickly is having systems in place. So everything in this room has a place. It's just a matter of putting it back into that place and then hoping that Britain doesn't run through and dump it out again. But that just streamlines the process. It's how I'm able to clean up the rooms really quickly. If you declutter, of course, you have less things to put away and it's saving you a lot more time that way. As I was cleaning up this area, I realized that one of the toys that was not supposed to make it upstairs found its way up here. When I bought the girls these, I think they were like crybabies for Christmas. I didn't realize they came with kinetic sand and forgot to store them downstairs. So there's a little bit of sand sprinkled in here in the carpet, which luckily came right up. But we try to keep all of the craft items downstairs where we don't have carpet. One of the areas that I just went through is a cabinet in my office where I like to keep all of the crafting supplies that are 
that require supervision, glue, scissors, anything that the girls would need me to get out for them. I have a little cabinet in my office that I just organized over on Instagram. So no more kinetic sand in this area and I left some space in the cabinet for any Christmas present, Christmas crafts that come in. That's my goal here as I'm cleaning up. I'm organizing a little bit, um, well not in this room, this room is mostly just a tidy, but as I'm decluttering, I'm making sure to leave space because I know of when I'm purchasing Christmas presents, I buy them knowing where we're going to put them. So that way things are really easy to put away as soon as Christmas is over. Um, and the house doesn't feel like it's crazy and things are just taking over. Huge shout out to my vacuum here. I was very surprised that it got everything up no problem because it seemed like that sticky kind of sand that was going to be stuck in there forever. Honestly, one swipe took care of it. I will link my vacuum down below because I always get a lot of questions about it. I have been loving this vacuum. I've had it since my birthday back in May and it's taken over as my everyday vacuum. It has a lot of attachments, so I use it for everything. It also has a laser detect in the front. I don't know if it's still on sale, but it was a couple weeks ago. I truly just, I feel like I need an entire day to dedicate to that room. I don't know if I have any more in me today. gonna have to be a separate video. It's already 12.30 now. I need to run out and um, go donate, drop off the donation items, and then do lunch. So I think I'm gonna grab the few things in here that are just kind of sitting on the top that I know I'm dropping at donation, um, and then this will, you'll have to come back. We're doing Declutter December. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, happy cleaning, and I hope you got some good motivation out of this.